What is up everybody? So today's video is just an update on the A6000 video I did on how to use it as a webcam. I found a way to use it as a camera in any other app, so in Zoom or in uh, Google Meetings or whatever. This will work for any camera, this extra step, but uh, connecting to the computer, that's the part you'll have to figure out with your camera. For the A6000 video, there is a link uh, this side. There's a, no. There's a link this side that... Um, shows you the video where I show how to do it. I will go through it really briefly in this video, but mainly this video is just to do an update on how to get that extra step so that your camera picks it up as a camera. So we're gonna jump straight right into that and uh, see you there. Good morning, good people. So today's video, has been requested by a lot of people and I didn't have a way to do it but I recently figured out how to do it with a plugin that goes into OBS. This is a super 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 simple technique it's one thing you add to your computer and then you can just start it up in OBS and you can literally project anything as a camera so this would actually work really well if you were like doing a, a live one-on-one -on -one editing session you could do it on zoom or on uh, Skype and then just share your camera but it will show your screen with you in the corners but it's a very super simple step on how to just get your 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 computer to think it's a camera plugged in even though it's obs and then before we carry on remember like subscribe click the bell it really really helps the channel when you guys click that like button just that one click boop, it uh it really boosts the video it lets everybody see it okay i'm going to start doing a, a comment question where i want you guys to reply in the comments on uh just letting us know about stuff so today's question is uh i want you guys to let us know how has lockdown affected your business and how I've, has your uh whatever business doesn't have to be photography but how is it how has it gone online are you streaming more are you uh, teaching more online how does it work i know a lot of the dancers are doing one-on-one -on -one lessons and people are doing editing lessons and so on some of us are just doing a lot of youtube so let us know in the comments below what you guys are doing all over the world to keep active and try and keep busy and uh, make money using what we have also guys remember i am giving away my a6000 so the one in that cap video and the one in this video where is it so I am giving away this camera with the kit lens so don't forget to go to the giveaway video a lot of people are commenting on all my videos for the giveaway which is great because I want the comments but I am only going to select comments from the giveaway video so look for the video that's actually the giveaway video comment in there tell us why you want the camera we will choose the best comments that we think are worthy of winning the camera and we will put it in a comment selector and it will automatically choose someone. Um, please don't tell us, I want the camera or I need the camera. Tell me why you want it. Like, do you, do you want it to do a YouTube channel? Do you want it to document your life with your kids? Do you want it, whatever. I, it doesn't matter to me if you want, we all want the camera. But I want to know why you want the camera. So please give us some in, like, nice comments. Like, put some effort into it. What you're going to need firstly, gear-wise, is your camera. Whichever camera, for this we're going to use A6000. Uh, you need your computer and you need a Wi-Fi connection. That's it. Some cameras connect with USB cable, but for this we use Wi-Fi because the A6000 can't connect to it with a, with a USB cable. Okay, the software you're going to need is Digicam. Now, Digicam is not needed for any other process, even though with uh, I know with Canon and Nikon it connects really well through that, so you can use the same method with a wire. Sony has to use Digicam with Wi-Fi. There's no cable option. If you want, if you have a different Sony, so my A6400 and my A7 III work through the remote software from Sony, which is much easier because it's a cable, there's no latency, there's no settings to push. But uh, for the A6000, you need Digicam to connect with Wi-Fi so we can get a, a, a feed out from the camera. And then you need OBS Studio, which both of these apps are free. OBS Studio is a screen recording software and you can stream with it, so gamers use it and people who edit use it. And then you need a plugin for OBS called Virtual Cam. And then I will put all these links in the description. Just click them all. They're all free. Download them all, install them all, and then we carry on from there. Now, I had a lot of people ask me in the last video, is there, is there a way to do this on Mac? Now, I, as far as I can tell, there is a lot of uh, camera connection apps on Mac. As long as you can get a feed onto your screen, OBS will record it. Just Google Digicam Alternatives. There's a whole bunch that came up when I looked. Um, download it, plug your camera and see if you can get a feed on the computer, and then the next step with OBS is the same. Okay, so for the steps on how to do this, I'm gonna jump onto the computer, I'm gonna put my audio in, and you're gonna see my screen recording. I'm gonna show you this three software. I'm going to connect the computer, connect to the camera, 
connect to OBS and then show you the virtual cam all in those steps. It's very simple. And then uh, we're going to end off the video right there. All right, people. So we are in OBS right now. This is OBS. Um, you can see my microphone is being picked up by the lavalier mic I had on in the video before this. Um, it's just a Rode wireless micro and then you get a uh, little cable that allows it to work in your computer. Otherwise you use headphones or uh, you can use your webcam audio. I'm going to move this out the way because this is the recording software. Okay, so these are the websites you need to go to. This is Digicam, it's free, just download it. Uh, OBS, you can just search these things, OBS, Digicam, and then this is called OBS virtual cam just search it's the first link okay and then if you have any other camera from sony use this uh image edge software i really hope you can't hear all that knocking um so this is sony's own software this is how you tether this is how um you can give it a preview it just doesn't seem to work with the a6000 for some reason i can control the camera i just can't see anything so i'm gonna film this on my phone just to make it easier you go menu um you go to application list you click this smart remote embedded if you click it, it will look for uh, Wi-Fi. Then you go into Digicam. So I've already loaded it up here. Then once you're in Digicam, click on your Wi-Fi. Make sure you find the camera. So that's A6000 there. Connect. Now give it a second. Okay, so now it's secured. It's connected. You'll see you have no internet. So if you plan on streaming with this method, you need a wired connection as well. So I've got an Ethernet cable plugged in. That's how I'm getting internet while I'm using Wi-Fi through the camera. If you're trying to use Wi-Fi, I'm not sure how to use two at once. There is probably a way. I just don't know how to do it. So for me, put a cable into your laptop um, and then connect the camera through there. Okay, once you're here, you go Wi-Fi, you click here, you can make it Sony, and then connect. Okay, so it says camera connected. All right, people, so I have to redo this because I did it wrong earlier. Um, as you can see, it's 11 p.m. But uh, I had the screen, I had the camera filming over the Zoom call, so you couldn't see what I was doing. So I'm gonna redo this again quickly. Okay, so once you're in on your computer, right? This is OBS. Okay, this display capture I added as a source, so you can see what I'm doing. But you guys will add a window in a second. Okay, all we're gonna do is the camera's connected to Digicam. We've done all these steps. Uh, live view, okay, now to get rid of these buttons. Otherwise, if you do a display capture now, you're gonna see these buttons, you see here? So you can still see, you can still see the buttons, okay? So what you wanna do is click this full screen button and then unlock it over here. And then this is its own little window with no buttons on it, which is what you want. You can make this really small and you can just move it out to the corner. Then we can minimize Digicam. Okay, next step. You need to add a window so that you're not displaying your whole screen to the to, to zoom. If you want to, you could just do this. So let's do that as an example. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go tools, you're gonna go virtual cam, and then you're gonna say start. So mine's running already. Okay, so if I open zoom now and I say new meeting, what it thinks is my camera is the is uh, OBS. So um, everybody's seeing everything, including this zoom thing. So you'd have to hide this and hide this. So now that's what people are seeing on Zoom, right? It's so weird. So I would hide this on another screen to get just your face there. Ooh, that's trippy. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna join this meeting. Okay, guys. So we are connected with my phone as well. As you can see, as my phone, there's the Digicam up there. You can actually see it's a, it's a better delay than than. Uh, um, how do I? So, um, now we're connected on both. So you can see this is my phone camera. This is the computer. So they see exactly what I'm doing. So like I was saying before, if you wanted to do this as a, um, as a lesson, they could just be in the Zoom call and watch your screen recording while you teach them how to edit or how to do anything, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this whole image to be my face. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into OBS and then the easiest method is just to Go uh, new source window, okay, and then you say select it. So that's that window over there, okay. And then once you're in it, you make this full screen, okay. And now you should be able to see it. However, I'm recording over myself here, so I'm going to add another window. 
Okay, so for me to be able to show you what's going on, I've had to add a second display capture um, so that you can see the Zoom app. This is the Zoom app, right? But now there's so many of me. But anyway, this is to show you that this preview is in here now. Okay, so if I turn off this, this app, it's going to just be me. You, you have to try to see how it works because I'm, there's a step I can't show you because it keeps overlaying over the Zoom app and you can't see what I'm doing. But basically that's how you get it to connect to your, to your uh, Zoom. This should work with any, like, um, any other app like uh, Google Meets and stuff. So I hope this works for you guys. Okay, so that's the video guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope this extra step helped a few people. I know people were asking about this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and click the bell. Really, really, really helps me. Um, drop a comment if you've got suggestions on videos. If you have gear you want me to test, especially if it's Sony, I can, I can loan Sony gear from Sony. But sometimes the Canon and stuff, I need to find a friend or someone that owns it because I don't have a connection. So let me know what you want me to test. Is there comparisons or is there lenses you want to try on cameras? I'll, I'll try my best to do whatever people want to see so drop comments like people's comments if you want to see them you know get the community going i've really enjoyed that uh, people are are having conversations on in the comments where they like someone will reply and before i even get to answer that person someone else has answered them that's great i love that people are all helping each other i do try to reply to everyone right now and if you have a big problem and you can't get hold of me on instagram through comments drop me an instagram message on uh, optical noise and i will gladly have a conversation with you and try and figure out how i can help you out so thank you for watching i really enjoy having you guys around and i'm really enjoying the youtube thing keep the good vibes coming on anyway my name is robert harris and i'll see you later peace